A bit of chain movement there. Yeah. Here, Joseph, on the first ride of the quad bike. Start braking. Now let's take a tour of the electrics involved in the electric quad bike. Now, down here I've got a battery charger, 36 volts currently running. There's three 12 volt batteries connected in series, each battery is 12 amp hours. From the battery, power goes to this voltage controller under here. It's a pretty sophisticated uh, little product from China and very similar to what you get in uh, elderly motorized scooters, mobility scooters. So from the controller, power goes to this gear stick and we've got forward, neutral and reverse. And from the gear stick, it goes to the 800 watt electric motor. Now there's a little bit more to the uh, speed controller. First of all I've got this power on off switch. With it off it nothing goes. Turn it on and then you can start to move forward or backward. Up here we've got a hydraulic uh, handbrake and it's got a switch in it which two wires go to the electric controller so that when you activate the brake it automatically cuts the motor and over here we've got an electronic throttle um, so that's the speed control but it's electric it goes to the controller underneath here so that controller is pretty a pretty fancy bit of gear. Now these front wheels are a very common size and came with the quad bike and had the same on the front and the back. So far I've, I've just kept the big front ones but I've downsized the rear ones to give me better gearing. So it goes a bit slower but it's more powerful. Um, I had some trouble uh, fitting these and finding small ones. They're actually six and a half inch on a six inch rim and I put some rubber in here to make it lock in and it also has to be tube, not tubeless. Um, there we've got the electric motor, 11 sprockets to 64 sprockets on the rear sprocket and over here we've got uh, a disc brake, hydraulically operated disc brake. Here is uh, the old hydraulic uh, handle, uh, brake handle. It's It's got a brake fluid in here and it's pressurized over here. Now what's happened is this viewing hole which had plastic on it, um, within one year the plastic's not UV protected and it just rotted out, the fluid leaked out and this thing ended up seizing up. So what's the point of a safety thing for reading your fluid level if that's the point of failure on the gadget? 
for my new one, I'll just be taping that up with black cloth tape so the sun doesn't get to it. Here is a T8F chain. Uh, the 8 means that each link is 8mm. And I bought two chains because I needed a slightly longer than the longest one. And they do not come with a master link. And I, I had to grind and bash out the the uh, the inner rivet and I had to buy some master links so I, I joined I'm able to join the chain back up with the master link so this is this is my leftover the one real ones on the bike here is the electronic speed control this is really the heart of the whole system it's a 36 volt controller and it's rated at about 30 amps um, it's it's got quite a lot of electrical connections and you've got to have the circuit diagram as to what connects up to what but but basically you've got you've got power in and power out you've got uh, an on off power on off you've got uh, electronic throttle uh, you've got brake uh, connection to the to the uh, brake um, hydraulic brake handle so that the motor cuts out when you apply the brake it's also got brake lights, so you can actually hook up brake lights so uh, when the brake's pressed, the brake lights come on. No, I haven't used the brake lights. This is another gadget, which is a voltage and a current readout, and it's rated for uh, uh, 100 volts and uh, 50 amps, I think. Um, I actually burnt this one out by connecting it up wrong. Uh, but there was a lack of instructions again. Um, I've got a new one coming. Now this has a LED readout. What I like about this is, is when it's on, it's highly visible. Um, an LCD, liquid crystal readout, is no good. You just can't read it when you're riding along. So uh, th these LEDs with big digits are the way to go. Now I was going to mount that in uh, this old ammeter that I had um, but I've moved away from that idea and I'm just going to be mounting it into a block of wood